Hello, good morning. Welcome to the first weekly vlog. If I actually stick with these and make weekly vlogs. It's Monday. First Monday after our vacation. Covered in cat hair. This is the normal workday outfit. We've got a cute top on top and then something comfortable down bottom. Just my girlfriend. Biker shorts pockets. And there's Fran joining us. My office is a mess. I've got to deal with this yoga stuff because that can go back down in the basement. I was doing yoga up here over the winter because the basement, well, not really basement, our first floor gets really cold. So that can go back down there. I've got some Target stuff I need to put away. I've got more things to sort through for Poshmark. A bunch of things to list still. And somebody's hungry. Um, I'll join her in a minute. And my desk. Oh my god, my desk. All the stuff I bought. My makeup still needs to get put away. My planner. I got a new one for the second half of the year. Same planner. So at some point I've got to set that up. For lunch I had some pasta because I already had noodles cooked in the fridge. And I'm just topping it with some follow your heart feta. I had kale, tomatoes, um, artichoke in there, some Calabrian chili. It was just a really delicious hearty pasta and it was really quick since I already had noodles pre-made. I love doing that, making a double batch of noodles and putting some in the fridge for another time. Okay, so it's lunchtime. I was lucky enough that I had pasta already cooked. So... I was able to just make a very quick lunch because I have been so busy, so busy. I did not realize coming back to work my day would be so crazy. I knew I had a lot of emails, but they also released all of our yearly trainings while I was gone. So I've been trying to do that while also packing posh orders, while also doing laundry. <laughs> So it's been a wild morning and there is nowhere great to sit the camera in the laundry room. So you're sitting on top of the dryer at a weird height, looking at my titties. It is what it is. I am just so, I don't know, like frazzled today. I feel like I need more sleep. I am just really out of it, but I did get my lunch in quickly watched a YouTube video while I ate. I watched Beatrice Caruso, Caruso, I don't know. Oh, this is still wet, that's gonna go back. Um, I don't have to say her last name, but I enjoy her channel, she's very funny. If you guys don't watch her, highly recommend. I'm just like, I'm folding Austin's underwear on camera, no big deal. Yeah, I've just been so frazzled. There has to be somewhere better to put this camera. <laughs> oh man, I really don't think there is. Hold on, you know what? My pantry is right next to my laundry. We will stick you on top of a box of Daya mac and cheese and see if that does the job. By golly, that helped. Okay, so I'm just feeling very frazzled. My um, purple carrot box just arrived and I want to film a purple carrot video so at least this week I probably won't put that into this weekly vlog. I don't know how many more weeks we're gonna get it because our farmers market will be opening back up soon so we can get nice fresh local stuff. Not that it's not open, it's open year round but there are like certain months between certain months they have to sell things that are completely local which is what i'm interested in and i feel like i've we've got it long enough that i'm feeling like thoroughly inspired and stuff so i could be a little more creative with food <clears throat> yeah so i'll probably film that for a separate video about each meal and the process and all that so that'll be a whole separate video, but that did arrive today, and it is still sitting on the floor in the kitchen because it's got an ice pack, so I don't feel the need to rush to unbox it when I am busy like this. So, 
that's my morning, my Monday morning. It's a very Monday e Monday, very Monday e for sure. So that's how today is going. I'm trying not to pull my own hair out. I've started editing my day one vlog. I've got pretty much the whole thing edited. I just need to do some voiceover stuff, and then it's done. And I can upload that and move on to hopefully getting a little bit ahead of the game and not having to edit each one of them the day I go to upload them. But I also wanted to get ahead on filming because I just, you know, want to make myself go crazy. And I want to film a video today, either one of my unboxings or a vacation haul or something. So. I'm just frazzling myself today, making my life harder than it needs to be, and that is how it's going. I always do this. I front load my, the beginning of my weeks every week, so I know I can always move things to other days, but for some reason I feel the need to do it all at once. Anyone else like that? I just got through my final meeting of the day and now I'm going to work on my voiceover for my first day one vlog of Vegas. Hopefully I can get these things turning and burning and out quickly. I want to try and get all of them out this week and then I'll start posting my other content, my normal content, but that's what I'm up to now. I'm trying to get my life together. I'm trying to space out some of these to-dos that I throw on myself because I, I gave myself way too many. Oh my gosh, I forgot I still had lipstick on. Let me wipe that off. So, it's been a busy day. I've barely gotten up from my desk. I just moved my desk. Oh, let me put that back. I have uploaded vlog day one. I've edited and uploaded vlog day two. And it's scheduled to come out on Tuesday. I mean, it'll already be out by the time you see this, but still. I've gotten some work stuff done. And now, I've got about 45 minutes until the post office closes. So I need to make my way over there with my Poshmark packages. It is not easy doing this with a, a camera. <laughs> I need to look at the mirror. I feel like I'm just smudging it all over my face. Oh, look at that, I am. Oh well. If I look crazy, maybe no one will bother me on my walk to the post office. I do have the car, Austin's on the road right now. I do have the car, but I just wanted to get a walk in, so I'm gonna throw my packages in a bag and walk over to the post office. Hello, Skittles. They need to cut their grass. Yeah. Well, I know you just came up the street, but Skittles likes going down and over. Right? Well, we can go down over and around. Okay. Come on, Skittles. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Skittles. She's so close to the ground, she has to sniff everything because she smells like everything when she's walking by. Oh, goodness. It can't be that interesting, Skittles. I'm back from my walk. <laughs> and it was very nice getting out of the house, getting a walk in with my mom and Skittles. And. I uh, oh, hello Fran. Do you want to say hello, Fran? Yes. Oh, 
What a sweetie. Is there a child screaming outside? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I came home and went right upstairs and edited another video. So, day three is uploading now. <sighs> it is exhausting. Very exhausting. But now it's time to figure out some dinner and relax with Fran. Oh, look at you being cute. So I don't know what I want for dinner. I have no idea. Probably something easy, because I don't feel like thinking about it. And I don't even know what's in the fridge. We bought stuff yesterday and I don't remember any of it. I don't know, I might honestly, I might just make an oven pizza, which probably not the most nutritious day pasta on pizza, but I don't want to think about it. I've used so much brain juice today that I just don't want to think about it. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I have a Blackbird pizza I bought yesterday because I knew there'd be some lollygagging this week. So I'm going to get the oven going for this. I like to jazz up my oven pizzas. So on this one today, I've put some everything but the bagel seasoning, some green olives, and some column, no, um, Calabrian chilies. And this is going to be so good. So, pizza in the oven. And at this point in the day, it's usually time to play with Fran. Because she is frisky from just laying around while I work. And she wants attention. Or she's going to be a menace in the night. So, we are just playing with her little toy that she's chewed to pieces. And I've got the door open because she likes to hear the bird sounds. And hopefully... I can wear her out a little, and I've got Top Chef on the current season. I'm going to watch Restaurant Wars now. I love that episode. I think everyone loves that episode. And eat my pizza and be peaceful and have a lovely night. I don't think I'm going to get into anything else. I might do a face mask tonight, but probably not because it's Monday, and that means summer house, which means I'm probably going to have a glass of wine, and I'm not going to feel like doing a face mask. Fate washing my face is going to be a task, but I will. I always do. But I think I'm going to check out for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello and good morning and happy Tuesday. I, what time is it? It's 9.17. I did not want to get out of bed. Fran was not happy with me. She's still not happy with me because we haven't been downstairs yet. She likes to sit at the top of the stairs and just stare at me until I get up and go downstairs to feed her. You ready? Let's go. You wanna lead the way? No, okay, mama lead the way. You coming? Are you coming? <laughs> She's so funny. So I've taken out the recycling and I have fed Fran and I've opened the door for her. She loves hearing the nature sounds. I cut up some strawberry and then some blueberry. I didn't cut the blueberries in a little bowl. I have a snack this morning and I have the strawberry tops because they looked pretty fresh. So I'm just going to freeze those to throw them in a smoothie at some point. And I'm going to make iced coffee, I think, and get to work. I think I need to do a couple trainings this morning just to get them out of the way. I know we have deadlines. I mean, I'm sure every company is like this where you have deadlines to get stuff done. But I just like to do it right away and not have to think about it ever again. So that is my plan. I need to come back down here at some point and get some laundry going. Because I have tons of laundry. I did three loads yesterday. Probably do another load or two today. And, uh, yeah, let's get some coffee. None of my favorite straws are clean, so we are stuck with the gold metallic one. I like my glass straws better. I don't know why. Just do. Okay, back to work. I got through another work training, and then I took a shower, because... You don't want to go to a gynecologist with a stank about you, I guess is a nice way to say it. I'm wearing this dress from J. Crew. I just wore it in Vegas, but I wore it for like not that long. So it didn't stink or anything, which is unusual for me because I'm sweaty. Um, 
But yeah, I figured I'd just wear it again, give it a second wear. And I put on these sandals. Um, I don't generally love being a <laughs> shoes in the house person, but these are really hard to put on, uh, even though they don't look like it. So I had to do it with the chair and something to put my foot up on. So they're on and they're staying on for now. Um, yeah, so that's the outfit of the day for now. I don't know if I'm going to change my outfit before I go to the concert tonight. I'm seeing Todrick Hall. Austin was supposed to come with me, but now my friend Suzanne is coming with me since he is traveling. Yeah, so that is the look. Shoes, I don't think are still available. This is a recent purchase. The J. Crew Liberty of London uh, collab. So this might actually still be on the website, but you'll notice it's the same exact dress as um, the green one I have and the black one. So I, I love this dress. I'm going to go deal with my hair now. You guys, the craziest thing just happened. So I pulled up into the, our parking pad and I saw the mail carrier was like just a couple of houses down. So I waited at the door for my mail because I, I get the informed delivery emails and I knew we were getting mail. So I am waiting at the door and the mail person walks up and hands me the mail and they're like, why do I think I know you? And I looked at my sunglasses and I'm like, uh, because you do. Um, <laughs> it was a girl that used to, oh shit, hit my nails. It was a girl who used to work in the mail room at work. And I think they, they pretty much have shop, shut down most of the mail room operations since the pandemic. So I guess she had to find another job and she was working for the USPS now. So that was so funny and so nice that I actually got to see someone I know. And it was like a nice, pleasant interaction. It was really, really cool. And I chit-chatted and caught up real quick, but it looks nasty, like it's gonna rain, so she's like, okay, let me go ahead and get the stuff mailed out, but I was like, oh my god, knock anytime you need anything, like, if you're doing this route. It was just really nice to see a familiar face, so that was such a cool little happening. The doctor's was the doctor's, I mean, a gynecologist appointment is what it is, uh, apparently it all looks good, we just need the results from the pap, but otherwise... Everything is looking hunky-dory, so that's good. And then I got my Vegan Cuts box in the mail, so I think I might go ahead and record that video, even though you won't see that for a little bit. I have scheduled out myself to record a video nearly every day, so I guess that will be my video for today. And um, yeah, I'm going to throw on probably just a little concealer and mascara because I'm really not in the mood to wear makeup. Especially considering we're going to a concert later. Uh, maybe I'll throw on something shimmery on the eye for the concert, but I'm not in the mood to put on a lot of makeup right now. Um, but yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that. Get that recorded. And uh, work on more work. I still have more trainings. I did two trainings and I think there's still like three or four more. So that is my afternoon. And also, by the way, I did eat lunch and it was just popcorn. I only had popcorn for lunch. That's not normally how I eat, but I just really didn't feel like making a meal and cleaning it up and then going to the doctor. So I will make sure I have something a bit more substantial for dinner. Maybe I'll go get some more fruit to snack on. I don't know. But yeah, that was a fun little happening. So I wanted to share that. So I went ahead and put on a little bit of makeup while I finished up the last training I'm going to get done today because I'm just beat. I can't keep watching them, but I got a little something something going on. Just a little bit. Not too much because I just don't feel like doing a whole lot, but I feel like I needed a little something. So I've probably got about an hour before we head downtown. I think I'm going to try and squeeze Survivor in from last week since we were away. Fran is staring out the door. There must be a bird on the deck. Yeah, so I like this look. I used uh, the Kimchi Plastic Tiara palette, one of those colors. I think this was the Kimchi palette. Looks really pretty, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna watch Survivor and then it'll be time to eat. Well, we were supposed to get pizza at Underground Pizza Co, but apparently they're not open on Tuesdays, which is weird. So thank goodness I Googled it ahead of time and I made a little bit of broccoli mac before the show so that I would have something in my stomach. The Todrick Hall show was at Ram's Head Live, which 
it, the show was amazing. I highly recommend going to see him if you ever get a chance. The production for such a small touring show was amazing. just about 1 30 i'm about to get on a call i spent most of the morning in bed working from bed because i was a little hungover i'm better now so i had a smoothie i always like to have a smoothie if i feel hungover because i feel like there's lots of vitamins and stuff in there then i always make sure i take my vitamins first thing in the morning if i'm a little hungover too because lots of important stuff in those too right so I am alive now. I just got dressed. I put on this dress. I got at Marshall's a while ago. It's just one of those little sleeper style ones. Uh, I don't think these are meant to go on the shoulder, but I put it on the shoulder for the sake of the call. It's a very comfy little thing. So, and it's got pockets. I got a little headband on. So, that's what I'm up to. Just loafing today. And getting on a work call. Hi guys. Okay, I don't feel like a zombie anymore. I filmed an empties video, and I'm now watching Worst Picks in America Celebrity Edition, which has all 90 stars. I'm very excited because Matthew Lawrence is beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, and then I'm about to read the recipes for dinner and see which one I want to make. And I'm just chilling. Today is not like a wildly interesting day in the vlog, but that's okay. Not every day is interesting. I spent a lot of the day just working in bed because I needed to rest, but yeah. So I totally forgot to tell you guys that I got some beautiful flowers in the mail today from my boss because it's Administrative Professionals Day and I'm an executive assistant now. So... That was really nice. She also got me a, a gift card to one of the vegan restaurants in the city, which is also very, very thoughtful. Just wanted to share that. Look how pretty these are. I'm so excited about them. Good morning, world. It's Thursday. I've got a nice little dress on because I've got a video call and then I want to film another video. So I figured I'd put something cute on. And. So today we are invited to like the opening night at this local theater's production. I don't know if I want to go or not. I'm just feeling like I could use a nice day at home catching up on TV, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, I might go. I haven't decided, but this is what I'm wearing for now. I'd probably change if we go to the, the show or something, a pinch nicer, but Fran says, feed me, so I guess we'll be doing that at some point. <laughs> you hungry? So I haven't really done much today. I put on a little face at a work meeting. I put on my face and then I realized, wait, it's lunchtime. Because I'm going to film my haul for the things that I got on vacation. Oh, that reminds me. I put stuff in the washing machine. I should probably put that stuff in the dryer, eh? I should probably do that, huh? Okay. All right, I remembered that. So last night we had tofu burritos that came with our purple carrot box, which will be in my purple carrot video. 
And it only called for half the block of tofu. So I have to do something with that tofu. And I'm thinking, what if I use a little, um, hold on these two things. I use a little of my favorite taco seasoning and this new habanero chili salt to flavor the tofu and then make like some tacos with it. With Because I made a whole bunch of quinoa yesterday, so I have a lot of extra quinoa. And maybe like some jalapenos or I don't know, whatever veg or I do have avocado I could throw some of that on so we're going to talk over today because that is what I'm feeling I feel like that'll be nice and easy we have a bunch of corn tortillas that I accidentally bought I'm not a big fan of corn tortillas honestly I prefer flour tortillas um it's just the taste and I feel like corn ones fall apart way easier you have to like cook the crap out of them so I'm gonna get this open or make Austin open it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started on lunch. So Austin's having vegan hot dogs on burger buns. <laughs> and I am uh, heating up my corn tortillas. I have one assembled, so I put the avocado ranch and then a little bit of quinoa, my tofu mixture, cheese, and then a little bit of this hot sauce. Fat Cat's Chairman Meow's Revenge, which is the funniest name for a hot sauce, but it's really good. So I'm just gonna keep assembling these, and then we'll have lunch. Okay, here is my final plate. It looks beautiful. I did add a little Trader Joe's jalapeno sauce too, because I like dual hot sauces, but mm, I'm gonna have this wild baked kombucha as well, which is delicious. Time to watch Moon Knight. So I have been working nonstop today on both work work and personal work. And I hit a wall around 5.15. My body was just like, nope. I had to lay down. I took a nap. And Austin made dinner, which was very nice of him. And um, then I went back to work. I'm done for the night. I had to get some stuff, some FedEx labels made and finished. But I need to go drop them off at the FedEx box down the road and then I am officially done, I promise. I will not keep working after 8 o'clock. Some days are just like this though, you know? Some days you just get really busy and you gotta listen to your body if it says, hey, time to chill. You gotta chill. I have done nothing but work all morning and I am kind of going a little bit batty. Well, that's a lie. I did a load of laundry and I took the recycling out. But aside from that, I've done nothing but work, 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 work all morning. And my brain is melting and I'm starving. <sighs> Wearing my rose apothecary sweatshirt, but <sighs> I'm so hungry. We didn't end up going to the theater last night um, for the show I was invited to. I just didn't have it in me. Like I said, I hit that wall around 5.15. And I literally just walked down the hall to my bedroom and laid in the bed and like slept for an hour. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just using exceptionally more brain juices than I'm used to using. I, I have no idea, but I just, the rest of the evening I needed to relax, which I didn't do of course, because I ended up popping back on my computer and working some more after dinner, but at least that was easy. Oh, that was like making FedEx labels to ship stuff out. That was not difficult at least, but I think filming so much and editing so much on top of catching up on a ton of work has just been drying out my soul and my creative energy. Because I wanted to film another video today and I just don't know if I have it in me. I, I'm going to see if I, if I can muster it up, but I don't know if I have it in me as of right now. So now I just need to get some lunch. Okay, here's a look at my quick little lunch. Got the leftover tofu that I had yesterday with taco seasoning and stuff. Cut up a little bit of cucumber and a little bit of tomato. I made a little bit of guacamole with half an avocado I had. Threw a few uh, cut up corn tortillas in the air fryer and made some chips. And then I've got quinoa down in the bottom of that with some Trader Joe's jalapeno sauce on top and I'm just gonna have this little bastardized burrito bowl of sorts for lunch. I might put another hot sauce on too. So, we went to the liquor store 
My next shaker and spoon box will be a bourbon box. So I got this. This was one of the recommended ones, the Russell Reserve. And then I had just been wanting to get this, this cold brew Mr. Black coffee liqueur. So we picked up those. We headed to CVS and got Austin's medicine. I dropped off some FedEx stuff. So now, why is this not focusing? I've got a new video uploading that I can schedule. I've been admittedly looking at a bunch of Zimmerman dresses because I'm obsessed. I just love them. But I've got my video going. So I am going to head downstairs and get dinner going because Austin is on the road. He had to go over to his brother's house to help them with something. And he should be heading home. And I'm hungry. It's like, I think it's almost six o'clock after six. I have no idea. It's after six yet. Mm. And I've definitely not been drinking enough water today. I have barely moved from my computer all day, except for when we went out to run a few errands. So I need to get moving. I've got to pick which one of these dinners we're going to do. I do want to do the fab cakes because that's just a fun name, right? Fab cakes. So, that is what I'm up to. I don't feel quite as burnt out or mentally exhausted as yesterday. I was going to do both of the trainings I had left, but I only did one of them because I just started to brain melt and I'm like, better not end up like that. So, oh, I should take these off my head. So it is evening, we are having a, well I am having a cocktail and we're watching the draft which is just wildly interesting. But yeah, I made a little cocktail with some Añejo, cinnamon syrup, bitters, and a coconut water ice cube. So I'm having that. I just finished editing another video, well not editing a video, but like uploading it and adding the description stuff. And I think this is literally all we're going to be doing tonight is relaxing. Look at these beautiful flowers. So cute. So we went to the farmer's market. And I got these flowers to add into this bouquet. And I think they look lovely. Also, we went to Starbucks because I had a gift card. So we had some Starbucks. We went to the farmer's market. Got some bread, I'm about to make some food with that. What else did we get? Got some mushrooms, some olives, and tapenade. We didn't get too much, because we just didn't need a lot. Oh, and a wriggle. But I'm about to make some lunch. I wish I would have remembered to take my camera to the farmer's market, because it was a beautiful day, but I didn't remember to do that, so. Oops. But I'm going to have some of this Mm. Rosemary Italian loaf with some tapenade and maybe a little salad on top or something with the arugula. Yeah, that's the easy breakfast plan. So here's lunch. We've got my new crusty bread, tapenade, some lightly like lemon juice and oil dressed arugula, and then a little chickpea mash. It looks really good. For dinner, Austin and I went out to our favorite pizza place, Polly G's, which is in Hamden. I had me a, what are these called? An Aperol Spritz, and that was delightful and refreshing. And then I had the The Heat Is On pizza. I believe he had the Dollop Parton. They're both vegan pizzas. They have a selection of vegan pies, which is really nice. And this is one of our favorite spots in the neighborhood. So if you're ever in Baltimore, I highly recommend checking it out. Good morning, happy Sunday. I'm having a weird breakfast brunch meal. I've got a quinoa bowl and I mixed in some chickpeas, um, some asparagus. What are these almonds? <laughs> Cucumber, tomato, Kalamata olive, and some hummus. So that's my bowl and the Trader Joe's jalapeno sauce. A couple pieces of bread. I don't know if I'll eat both of those. And my coffee and I'm watching the Food Network. So, just a nice relaxing morning. I spent the morning taking my nails off, putting a 
a nourishing base coat on and put like three coats on there. And googling vegan designer shoes. I don't know. <laughs> I was researching a lot of strange things this morning, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Alright, I decided to get dressed. This is gonna be my outfit of the day. I've got my Prada Spice Girl shirt on, which is not actually a Prada shirt. Someone was selling these online. I don't remember <laughs> what website they were from, but the quality of the actual t-shirt's not very good, so I can't recommend it, even though the print on the shirt is pretty cool. It was kind of expensive for what it is, but yeah. I've got my little J. Crew sweater. I actually had a compliment on the tan version of this when I was in Vegas, and they're sold out. They're from an older season. Then I've got some white pants on. I don't know why. I just felt like wearing white pants today. I don't really love this straight leg trend because as you can see, it doesn't end up looking straight legged with my hips. And then it just looks like I've got baggy ass pants on, but I am wearing Lily. Got some shoes. These Dolce Beauty shoes. The Marc Jacobs bag. That is the outfit for today. Although, I don't know, I might put on tennis shoes. I haven't decided. I feel like these pants need heels because if I'm flat, you lose the ankle and the foot and then I look super short. So, yeah. But we don't have very far to go. We're just going to the movies. So it's going to be like the parking lot to the movies. Okay, I think I changed my mind. I think I'm going to wear this pink blazer instead of the blue sweater. Um, I just think it looks better. Makes a little bit of a longer line here. This I got from a Goodwill several years ago, so can't tell you where that's from. It's from the Goodwill. So we're back from the movies. We saw The Northman, and it was too long and like annoying. I mean, it wasn't a bad movie. The movie wasn't made poorly, but just not my kind of movie. I'm not big on the way you hurt me and I'm gonna kill you even if it ruins my own life and kills me type of storyline. I don't know, it just feels a little dramatic. I don't know, everything in that movie was way too dramatic in my opinion, but whatever. I'm sure some people will love it. But now we are home. We did stop at Pet Smart for I needed some food, but we're home now. I'm gonna put on some comfy pants and probably make some dinner. Wait, sit down for a minute and just relax for a second, but nice to get out of the house. Hopefully, there's a lot of good stuff coming out. Um, good stuff coming out over the next couple of months. I feel like we'll be going to the movies a lot, which will be nice. Nice to have little date days, but yeah. Gonna get out of these white pants and into something stretchy.